guys. I've been thinking about this for the longest time. Like it's just a thought in my head that I've been wanting to do and now it's finally happening. We are moving to my first big girl apartment. You're literally going to be my roomie because I'm gonna be filming everything, the adulting process, moving in and decorating and all those fun stuff. If you're new here, hi, my name is Aika. I'm half Japanese and half Filipino, so I live in two different countries, Philippines and Japan. I usually just go back and forth depending on where I need to be or where I want to be. And it's currently winter in Japan right now, so I decided to go back here in the Philippines because I have a few work stuff and also because of this, I'm always traveling and I'm at a point in my life where I want to have a place to come home to here in Manila and in the city. I've been dreaming of having my own apartment in the BGC Makati area since I was in high school. I'm gonna talk more about this, like more about the backstory later in the vlog because I feel like I'm gonna cry <laughs> if I talk about it now. So it's a one-bedroom condo in Makati. I know some of you are from different countries and you probably have no idea what Makati is, where Makati is. So it's one of the busiest cities in the Philippines. It's filled with a lot of buildings, shopping malls, cafes, which you know I love. There's also a lot of parks in the area. Our condo is literally two minutes away from the shopping mall which I know can be a bit expensive, but at the same time, I wanna have the option to go shopping whenever I want, go to a cafe, try different restaurants. That's gonna be so fun. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. There's a big ass couch here, but I'm literally sitting on the floor because I feel like it's more comfy for some reason. I don't know, I feel more comfy like hanging out on the ground. Also, I'm at Kyle's condo right now. That's why the background's different. This is how it looks like at 2.36 p.m. So it's pretty bright here. I love that the walls are all white. Wait, let me give you guys a run through of how each area looks like right now because lots of things are still gonna change. I've always been a fan of the marble tiles. I think it looks really classy. So here's how it looks like empty. I also want to put like a light fixture here on the mirror so when I'm getting ready it looks better because the overhead lighting isn't really that good so I need like a, a spotlight on me whenever I'm getting ready. Okay so now heading to the kitchen as you can see it's still being built. We're putting those subway tiles as backsplash. Looks so nice. Here's the living room area and we're gonna put like a sliding door here so the bedroom and the living room are both like separated so i was thinking that i really want to put like a big round mirror there then some bookshelves on the side maybe and then here we're gonna put like the couch the desk this is where the bed's gonna be and then there's a big closet here but we're also making another one here on this wall Naked Wolfie Boots. I'm going to an event. It's for a Filipino brand called Issy & Co. It's a makeup brand and yeah, I put on silver eyeshadow. I'm not sure if you can tell. Top is from Shopsider. Jacket from Lartigend. The skirt is from Pretty Little Thing. My bag and the boots. And I'm off to the event. I'll see you guys there. Here is an update of the kitchen. As you can see, the drop light is too close to the cabinets. So I think they're gonna move it closer together and they're also gonna paint the wires white. Now it's black and it kind of looks weird. So we're gonna have it painted white. It's gonna look so nice. 
so excited about the subway tiles they still have to install the microwave and the sink and the stove as well it's all coming together i'm so excited <laughs> One of the things about living in two different countries is that you can never have all of your stuff, your clothes, your makeup, all in one place. Obviously, you can't do that because you're living in two different countries and you have stuff for like Japan, I have stuff for the Philippines. And there would be times wherein I would buy a specific style of clothing here in the Philippines, then I'd go back to Japan and realize that I have the same exact Thing, which is kind of hard sometimes, but we make it work. Today, I felt like decluttering my stuff and packing Whoa! up the things that I'm going to bring with me to the new apartment. So I literally have bags of clothes in storage. So I'm going to go through all of that. Hopefully, I get to take photos of them and set it online. So yeah, I'm going to choose all of the things I'm going to sell, keep, donate. <laughs> Four days left until we move in. The drop lights are finally fixed. I'm so happy. Got my laptop here. This is the initial and goal interior for the living room and kitchen. And I'm probably gonna make like a separate bedroom makeover. For the living room, I wanna get like a Sakura painting on top of the couch. Just to have a hint of Japan in my apartment. I've been dreaming of getting a big round illuminated mirror. But then I found out that I can't really put a mirror there because it's only like a flex wall. There used to be a door on this wall but they covered it up. Now it's not really as strong. So yeah, I'm still unsure of what I should put here. I don't really want to put a TV. If you guys have any ideas or any like specific product or item that I should put on this wall, please let me know. I actually got my first piece of furniture made already. I saw this couch in Hay in Shibuya. So of course, I had to have it made similar to that couch and yeah this is how it looks like i'm at the apartment right now we're slowly moving some stuff in i can't believe i'm gonna be living here in a few days we've come such a long way this is our first home i remember back in high school I would always hang out in this area. We would walk around at night and I would have this like thought in my head that one day when I'm older, when I can afford it, I want to live in the city. I want to live here. I was in high school at that time, I think around grade nine. And back then my family was having troubles like financially, like from living in a big house and downsizing to like one small room with my brothers like me my two brothers we're living in literally one small room even smaller than my bedroom now that was our situation for almost like two years and that was really traumatizing for me because i never knew what i had until i lost it until we lost our house everything most of the things we owned my mom, my sister, and my dad were in Japan at that time. And me and my brothers were busy like finishing school here in the Philippines. So yeah, we were living in one small room. I remember we had like two beds, like one, one bunk bed and one single bed. I was staying in the single bed. It wasn't really an ideal like living situation. So I really told myself that when I grow older, I'm gonna work so hard. Had to take a break because I was feeling really emotional. But yeah, that situation in my life really pushed me to work harder and to dream big. I got that I need to make this dream or turn this dream into a reality feeling. And five years later, we're finally here. We're finally doing the things my younger self used to dream about. I hope you guys know that it's not all about bragging or showing off. 
I just really want you to be a part of this journey with me because I know that life isn't always a better process. I'm sure you guys had hardships growing up as well. This is just to remind you that anything is possible. So I'm gonna end today's vlog here. I hope you're excited for the next one because that's gonna be like the moving vlog, like the official moving vlog and decorating. I'm so excited for that. Bye.